Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna get the par meter out and go through the par values I'm getting in my dream reef tank. All right guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. Now this idea has come to you from one of my channel members who was desperate to know what par values I'm getting in this dream reef tank because if you're not aware, and in fact I'll open up the hood so you can have a look, I have a pretty ridiculous amount of lighting above this tank from three Philips Coral Care Gen 2s to four Orphec OR90 light bars to two Kessel A500X and then five, one, two, three, four, five A360X. A ridiculous amount of light above this tank and people often ask me what par values I'm getting in this tank, to which I always say nothing ridiculous, but um, I figured it was time to grab the par meter app and share with you the results I'm currently getting. All right, here we are. I've got my light set to their standard maximum daytime color, which is uh, the color I tend to go for. This is when all of the lights are at their peak, which in fairness is at the peak for most of these lights. The Orfex, I cannot adjust at all. The Kessels do go through a ramp and this is at the peak of their ramp and the Phillips are at peak for most of the day. I can share my schedule with you guys if you like, but um, I have to be straight up honest with you. It's a very, very simple schedule. It ramps up for about an hour in the morning, ramps up, or sorry, ramps down for about an hour in the evening. The rest of the day, I just have flat knackers at this color that I like, which is predominantly blue, but still quite a bit of white in it because um, I like a fairly natural colored tank. I'm not a Smurf land kind of guy. And this is the result I get. Now, just to show you guys the rough sort of height above uh, the water level, my uh, Phillips are situated about just over a foot, maybe about 13 inches, which is uh, for our uh, metric friends, about 330 millimeters above the tank. Um, the Kessels are about the same height. Some of these ones sit a little bit lower. The Orphex are all around that height. So we're talking a bit over a foot above the water for uh, all of my lights at its usual level. Now, I've got my Apogee MQ510 and uh, this time I've got the official arm, which might make things a little bit easier. Just gonna turn him on. And I figured we'd just read through some of the uh, par readings. So if I go right down the far side here, pop him as straight up as I can. We're getting about 250 par on the sand there. If I come up to uh, roughly where my hammers are there, getting around about 400 to 500 par there. And if I come up to about the height of my SBS there, I'm getting about 750 par there. So decent figures, I will admit. Now, if I skip across here, get into the middle of my tank, if I put this right down onto the uh, sand bed there in the middle of the tank, Getting around about 430, 450 par down there. Come up about halfway there where some of my SBS are, talking about 550 par there. And right up the top here, actually I'll go into the middle, right up the top there. About, moves around a little bit because of the water movement on, but somewhere between 600 and 650 par there. Coming over to the far end of my tank, hopefully not cracking any SBS. I'll go right down into the uh, bottom corner here where this uh, Cristata is. About uh, 250 par there. Sitting up around this point here in the tank, we're getting around 450 par. If I go right where my uh, Walt Disney is, getting about 650 par there. And then right up the top here where my blue stag is, if I can get that sensor somewhat straight about 650 par there as well. So that gives you guys a decent idea as to the sort of uh, par I'm getting out of this huge array of lights here. It's, it's more than you need, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't say it's excessive. I don't have like a thousand or 1500 par near the top of the tank. Again, my scape does only go up about halfway in the system. So that may alter that a little bit. I do know on my frag tank where I've got the radians in there, I had to turn that down to 35% power because I was getting like 1500 par on the frag rack there. Now, sure enough, it's a shallow tank. And yes, it does have three XR30s above it, but um, just remember crazy par is not what we're chasing. For me, it's more about the even spread. I don't want shadowing. I wanna make sure that I don't really have too many dark spots in the tank because there's not many corals I wanna keep in this tank that don't love a bit of light. All right, for all you blue LED junkies out there, this is about as blue as my tank gets, except for maybe the last 15 minutes of the day when it's just royal blue lights on, but they're also at a pretty low percentage. This would be its peak 
strength at some sort of a blue coloration. I figured I'd give you a quick overview of the par readings there, just in case you wanted this combo to run a little bit more of a blue color. I've got the uh, MQ510 here. Let's start from the, we start off in the same sort of spot in the uh, far right hand corner on the sand. I've got about 190, 200 par there. If I come up where my hammers are here, I've got, mm, it's a big jump there. We go up to about 500 par there. If I come uh, down where my bubble coral is here, for instance, have a look there, it's getting a little bit of shade from the rock, but it's still sitting at about 400 par on the sand there at this blue spectrum, so decent values. About uh, the top of the middle of my rock work here, we are getting, oh, the par meter has turned off. We're getting about 600 par there. If I come right down where my elegance corals are without hitting anything, Again, about 400 par on the sand bed there. Gently pull that one out. Let's have a look where these SPS are up here. Yeah, 590, 600 par. Over where my Walt Disney is over here, if I can get him at the right sort of spot. 600 again. If I come down on the sand bed here in front of me, where that chalice is, rocking about 280, 260. So you can see the blue doesn't actually drop the par as much as people think it does. It um, definitely does take an edge off it, but uh, people thinking if they want to run a strong par with blue coloration, the Philips Coral Care is not going to do it. They might be kidding themselves because that's a very blue tank and still giving huge, huge par. So, um, Hopefully that dispels some of the mysteries for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, pop it in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this short, sharp little video of the par values on my dream reef tank. Till next time guys, stay safe, keep reefing, bye.